Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. So many people have had problems, I feel, with trying to stop people in the collective from actually growing and evolving, that they are becoming very, very crafty in um, their pursuit to destroy your happiness. Um, this time of year, you know, I pay very close attention to the, the seasonal changes, you know, the birds, the bees. I, I pay attention to everything because, you know, Mother Earth Gaia will communicate with us in so many different ways. If you just slow down and you and you take the time to listen. But it has been, it has really come to my awareness a lot lately with spiders. And I said this a few weeks ago pay a attention to it because it's like, well, yeah, when it comes to that spider like energy or, or totem, it's like you may be a master at figuring things out, but somebody perhaps in your energy, either connected to you or connected to someone that, you know, I'm, I'm getting like master, um, like weaver. I mean, like, like a spider's web It's sort of like that energy of someone who, they they go undetected they go you know they can be very small but this is a treacherous deadly type of energy and for some people it may not be a person I, i'm getting energy it could just be a thought be very mindful of your thoughts be very mindful of the things that you say that you hear that you listen to that you take in because something here i feel that is trying to destroy a lot of people it can easily go undetected okay it can easily go undetected but if it can get a hold of you, like I said, it can be very bad, perhaps even deadly. All right. So whatever that may be to you, um, be mindful of even the people that you you find yourself around, just their mindset, the way that they think, because, you know, birds of a feather flock together. If you know that you're on a certain wave in your life, you need to be very mindful of the people that you surround yourself with, especially during times like right now where I feel like our energies are so sensitive at this time, um, especially with this full moon. This is a full moon in Libra. So scales are being balanced, okay? <laughs> like the truth is coming out about a lot of different situations, the nine of swords. Someone could be very stressed out. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. Nine of swords is here. This is stress, worry, fear, anxiety, insomnia, um, mental anguish, conflict. All right. Here's the seven of cups. This is all about illusions, fantasies, dreams, but it's also a lot of confusion here. All right. Um, and then here is the five of wands. So like I said, I, I know exactly what I am picking up on energetically for some of you. Um, if this isn't happening directly to you, this could be happening to someone that is connected to you because here's the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So for some of you, you could be in this Queen of Pentacles energy where you're trying to be very stable, very grounded, um, take the high road, be very mature. Maybe right now, especially being in airy season, which is that emperor like energy, whether you're male or female, you're just trying to get things organized, um, trying to, you know, calm down whatever storm you may be in or just try to remain calm, but you could have a person right here and I'm hearing the word lover boy. Okay. So th there could be a masculine around some of you. This person is dealing with some type of conflict or confusion. Um, someone here may be feeling a bit challenged or even defeated in a situation. Okay. Um, but I feel that there is absolutely like this black widow type of energy. Someone here is trying to purposely cause chaos, conflict, tension and some type of upheaval either for you or someone that you know all right this could be an attack for sure on um like counterparts here um if you have someone in your energy it's someone in your life or in this person's life that is 100 percent trying to stop this person from moving on to peaceful calmer waters or stop you um, the eight of swords here, like, again, there's somebody in the background who is watching and monitoring some type of connection here. And they are for sure trying very hard to cause you to feel this type of conflict or I just heard dismay. Like somebody wants you to feel sad or stuck or stagnant, like you can't move forward. But see, look at this here. You have the eight of swords, the fool and the ten of pentacles. Somebody is, oh my gosh, the four of wands. I cannot make this up. Four of swords. Somebody here knows that you have like an incredible life coming for yourself. I cannot make this up. I cannot. Wow. 
Yeah, they know that this is what's coming in. Seven of, seven of Pentacles here in the Knight of Cups. Oh, y'all. The Three of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Emperor. Ace of Pentacles, the Strength card here. Somebody already knows that you have a really, really, really strong offer coming towards you. I would say for some of you, too, um... If you have someone that's in your life right now or in your energy, I would say you want to really keep your business to yourself. You will be surprised how people around you will send you the evil eye and be very jealous and envious of the fact that you actually have, you know, this type of energy that's coming in. This is not like your typical just romance. This is something here. It's an unbreakable type of bond. And somebody is fully aware of the fact that you have, like someone has either captivated your heart or you have captivated the heart of someone. Somebody here knows you're moving on the peaceful, calm waters and they are for sure. Somebody wants you to feel like you missed the boat. Like you missed out on an opportunity that something just isn't going to happen for you. And that's not true. So again, there is energy being projected. You guys, I want you to get in the habit of knowing especially around these full moons if you are an empath the types of energies that are out here they they can affect you but you have to have strong mind control uh, and and not allow it to happen Th this is just a way of life once you get to a certain level spiritually it is just a way of life for you to understand that you will be attacked but you don't have to play into it you don't have to allow this type of energy to make you weak there, for some of you, you're you're right at the finish line. Do not break before your breakthrough. Somebody is watching and monitoring either your life or someone that is in your life, perhaps. And they want you to feel like nothing is going to work out in your favor. But the Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups is here. Three of Cups and the Star. It is 100% guaranteed that you and someone are meeting and you're going to have a life that is just absolutely amazing this person could already be in your life or you're about to meet this person with the three of cups the three of cups this could be someone in your friends group it's someone in your community or whatever look the ace of swords the ace of cups and I, I can't believe it like i'm just pulling the cards because as i sat here and i shuffled and i shuffled look at what's coming out the ace of cups the hierophant it's like the end of your dark times is here and you're closing the the book on your chapter the book or a chapter on your past completely you have a brand new beginning somebody is aware that they are not moving into this brand new beginning with you this could be a friend family member a lover or whomever it could be all of the above there's people who know that they aren't going towards this new beginning i don't know for some of you exactly what you have coming up for you but it has to be very very grand um Literally, the Ten of Pentacles here with the Four of Wands. So when it comes to your security, your stability, your home life, it's like you're about to take a leap of faith to go into something that's going to bring about wish fulfillment. A lot of you, you know, to be honest with you, whoever you end up in a partnership with, with the Four of Swords here, this is going to be a healing connection. It's the type of connection where you will be able to heal and you can finally rest. You know, I'm, I'm just, you know... So far, I haven't shuffled much, but the story is here. So I'm just going to read the energies that I see here. For a lot of you, especially with the Four of Swords being here with the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles next to it, the Three of Wands and then the Emperor, the Ace of Pentacles, just really get, get a picture of what this energy is. Some of you right now, you could be healing, trying to heal or get over something, especially if you've had something to happen like in your family or with your finances. You have a love offer for many of you that's coming in and it's like you and someone are going to start at ground zero. Someone is upset about the fact that you have a clean site and I don't want to focus so much on who doesn't like this new beginning, but I just think that it's very important that you are aware that when you find yourself feeling like, all is lost or you won't have what you want or it's going to be so difficult for you to have it that that's not your own thoughts feelings and emotions that's being projected onto you that's the reason why sometimes it's good for you to stay away from a lot of people who are not actually in alignment with your mission and your purpose people who are not doing the things that you want to do that you aspire to do you need to separate yourself from those type of people and it's not 
because you you don't like them. But the truth is, is that you are outgrowing certain type of people in your life. Okay. People who cannot inspire you to be better, to be greater than what you already are. There's really no point in you sticking around, allowing yourself to absorb the energy of these more negative energies around you. And a lot of the people, honestly, they don't even realize that they carry this type of energy. But again, going back to this Knight of Cups here, the Seven of Pentacles, this is someone who wants to come in and really grow and build. Okay, the four of swords is here. This is what I'm, I'm hearing is roots. Someone wants to come in and establish roots with you. They want to lay down a foundation. Okay, they don't want to build on top of an already broken foundation. This is starting at ground zero. And what's coming in for you is an emperor here with the ace of pentacles. Someone here is spiritually rich. They want to, they want to pour something into you. Okay. So that you can actually build and you can grow. And if you think the people around you don't recognize this or know it, then you're sadly mistaken. Some people may not know exactly who's coming in, but they have a good idea that when you actually get into a partnership, that it's going to for sure be one for the books. The strength card here with the lover's card. Okay. This is a very strong, strong bond or connection that you have with someone. There's also possibly someone in your energy or in the energy of a person that you've connected with or that you're about to connect with that is trying everything to stop a person from fully investing in you because the lovers does speak of a choice. So there's, there's an energy out here in that black widow energy that I speak of. This is someone's like ex-wife, ex-husband, a mother figure, a sibling, somebody here is wanting to hold on to a person that is supposed to be building with you or you have someone holding on to you. For some of you, you know, depending on your situation or your connection, it's like you and the person that you are supposed to be with, you both have energies that's holding on to you for dear life. Because I'm telling you, it's like once you and this person come together, there's no stopping it. Something here is going to move so quickly. It's going to be so grand. It's going to be so beautiful. And when I speak of things being grand and over the top, I'm not only referring to money. Somebody here that resonates, you have an opportunity to build a leg like a legacy. You, some of you, you, you will meet a person and you will be with this person 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Like it really is your person. The person that God himself chose for you. And, and you will, you will get to finally be in this feminine energy where you can receive the family and I'm hearing friendship and fellowship. Some of you, it's like you're going, you're going into a whole new world. And this all cups here. Cups. This is the ultimate emotional fulfillment. With the star and the ace of swords being here, it's like the universe is telling you, yes, what you want is there. That true love, it's there. Please do not think that that love that you want, it doesn't exist because it does. 100%. It does. And you have someone in the background that is trying to make you think or feel some type of way because either they haven't experienced this type of love or they feel like they won't ever experience this type of love. This could be a lover for some of you, someone who feels like you're the one that got away and if they can't have you, then they will never experience this type of love and they're upset that you're going to experience it. Some of you, you know... It could be a sibling, it could be a, a parental figure, but someone just feels like it's like you're the main source of love for somebody. This person, like they, they, they love you, okay? And somebody doesn't want you to be taken away from them. This is the energy that they're that they they're they're putting out and I don't think that they realize that but it's true especially if this is like a family member or a friend 
Somebody does not want you to be in the, the arms of another person. Because in their subconscious mind, they're, they're really afraid of how their life is going to be when you're no longer as attached to them. That's if it's a friend or a family member. For some of you, if this is an ex, this person is just, it's like they're competing with you. The five of wands, it's like someone, someone is competing with you. Ten of wands, someone who already has a lot of baggage and drama, um, chaos and conflict in their life. The more that they see you grow and evolve and heal and have this peace, this overall happiness, joy and contentment in your life, it's like it's causing issues for them. Somebody here is juggling, okay? In the Five of Pentacles, somebody is finding it very difficult to come out of a period of like hardship. Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and this person is watching you. They're spying on you. They're monitoring you. Like this, per somebody here, yeah, the, the high priestess. I feel like you've already, look, and the judgment card, it's like you've already grown, healed, and evolved. You're very, very confident. You, you have this, for some of you, even like this sex appeal about yourself right now. And somebody is, this is causing, I'm, I don't know who or what this is, but it is really, really causing an issue for another person to see you thriving and striving and to be in this energy of abundance. And I feel so strong. A lot of you are single because it's something about a partnership coming into your life. Somebody, and, and, and I think that the reason why people in your energy are so concerned about this partnership entering your life it's because, like I said, whoever this person is that's coming into your life, this is it. You know, you're going to go, your, your name and everything, whatever you and this person be, you're going to go down in history as the partner of this other person. And somebody I, I feel is now coming to the realization that they will not share that with you. So some of you, it's like you have a friend, they're not going to be at your wedding. They're not going to be in your life. They're not going to be at your wedding you know, when, when any of the, the praise, the rewards, the recognition come for you, they're never going to be a part of that. And it, they're taking it really, really hard. Some of you, it's a family member and they know that eventually you may be relocating or you're starting something. They aren't going to be able to dictate and control or be around you. And then for some of you, it's like you have ex lovers and they're like, wow. Because you've bloomed and you've blossomed so beautifully. Somebody else is going to literally be able to enjoy all of the, the benefits of being with you. Since you've become so beautiful, like it's something about your essence. It, you're, you're, you're the total package. And now I feel that. This is a, it's a collective energy. It's a lot of projection because the scales are being balanced. So people now are realizing that certain contracts, they're now null and void. They've been canceled out. So you may be picking up on this energy right now where you're just like, what is happening? You know, you could have been like, oh, wow, like everything was so good. And then all of a sudden you're like in this mental entrapment here. But don't, don't worry. This energy will pass. The fool is here. This beautiful new beginning that's for you it's still coming you're just picking up collectively everyone is feeling this because everything now has reached things that no longer serve you it has reached its expiration date just completely wow those of you who are empaths for sure um and have you know the ability really to some people are such um so so sensitive as an empath that you just about can like read other people's thoughts you may be feeling right now like you need to be in hermit mode um yeah <laughs> because when you go places the like the the fear the anxiety the worry um and all of these different 
lower vibrations from other people, it's like it will attach itself onto you because you are the impact. You are indeed an energetic and emotional sponge. So right now, if you're feeling like you need to be within, don't don't worry about it. It's okay. You're going through yet another ascension. You're awakening to something here and you're being prepared to move on to this partnership for a lot of you. Yeah, the three of pentacles. Spiritually, it's like spirit is working hard to ensure that you get to go towards this partnership here. You may be feeling a little bit of like melancholy right now, though, because you're losing a lot, but you're gaining so much more. So you are you're feeling the sense of loss here, things that you've held quite dearly to you. You it, it's it's true. It's coming to an end now. Yeah, look, it's all about death and rebirth. Literally, you have the four of pentacles, the four of cups is here, and then the death card. This is also stating that whoever has been holding on to you or whatever you've been holding on to you to that's not serving you, that's causing you to feel like you're missing opportunities or this discontentment, boredom, melancholy, this is coming to an end. You're feeling this because I feel like right now your soul is going through another shift. There's an awakening that's happening now. Yeah, you're getting a piece to a, a, a puzzle of yours, like that, that missing piece. And for a lot of you, it is. It's a particular business. It's a relationship. It's a friendship. Um, it's your connection with spirit. It's something here that you've been fighting a long time to have. And it's finally coming in for you. But all of the things that you have to let go of, it is. It's like your soul is crying right now is what I'm getting. And the souls of the other people around you who can't go with you. Yeah. Look, I just told you, you're having an awakening. Because you're moving forward. You're moving past all these obstacles and challenges. And the Knight of Pentacles. And someone is coming towards you because they know that you are indeed the Empress. Page of Cups. Some of you, there will be... Um, some of you can expect... Um, to birth a child or a new business, all right? But there's an offer coming in. There's an offer here. I feel that it has been slowed down. There has been delays in this offer coming towards you. It's because a big part of your test was for you to learn how to walk by faith and not by sight and to put your boundaries up. Now that you've learned that lesson, it's like everything is about to move very, very quickly in your life, the Eight of Wands. So... Yeah, it's like right now, you may just be feeling like the energy I get is so much good stuff here, but there's something here emotionally. It's an emotional purge that's taking place here. And it, it doesn't really matter what you do or don't do. It's, it's going to happen. Again, it, it's the full moon in Libra. Okay, so illusions like i said false contracts false friendships relationships all things that don't serve you it's a it's a reset it's a karmic reset now and when i say karmic because everything in life is karmic you know you're gonna learn lessons from everything um some situations you enjoy the ride and the lesson and some you don't but everything is karmic because you're learning a lesson well the karmic scales are being reset you're completely starting over so the people who have worked really really hard to come against you to stop you to block you or whatever they know now that they have lost and they're projecting their energy onto you because they know they've lost they're, they know that there is absolutely no way that they can go into this next cycle with you because this next cycle for a lot of you it's your greatest cycle ever so just make sure you know that you're not don't don't be down okay <laughs> because i feel like some of you it's like you need a, a pick me up it's like throw some some starbucks on you like you need a yeah the knight of, of wands here the moon and look at that the justice card when you get past this illusion here of things are not going in your favor and you recognize that this is just a part of justice then everything will start to shift for you this is a part of the shift 
you know, all is fair in love and war and in war, there will be casualties. This right now is understanding that there are casualties in this spiritual war. OK, even some of the people who are innocent, who haven't done anything to you necessarily, but because they are not going where you're going and they are not serving you, you and those people, certain people, you're not of benefit to one another in this season. You still have to separate yourself from them. And that's difficult because nobody wants to leave. A lot of people have been on this journey alone for a very long time. And it's like, oh, man, like, God, I have to let some more people go. You may be looking like I don't have anybody else to let go of. But it's those people who you still you're 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 holding out hope for it for them. And it's like, no, they can't go. They can't. Yeah, healer of the ages and the sun is here. But the healer of the ages is in the reverse. With the sun, I feel like you have to be mindful of the fact that if you don't have like actual joy, inner joy and peace, when you are surrounded by conflict, that takes you off of your path of actually being a healer, a healer of self, a healer of your family, your bloodline, your generation, a healer for the collective. You have to do what makes you happy. That's the, the big message here. You now have to do what makes you happy. It's like you did all of this work to come into, you know, union with yourself. Well, now union is here, you know, and for some of you, this union that's coming, it it's bringing love and partnerships and you know, greater opportunities and finances, but it's because you're going into union with yourself. And that means that, yes, you do have to leave certain people, places, things, and situations behind. The energy for me is very off-putting. And when I say off, the reason why I say that is because even like with the cards, it's just like this almost like it's not doom and gloom melancholy yeah <laughs> the fates and serendipity for some reason spirit didn't want those energy oracle cards and they asked me to get the wisdom of the oracle um serendipity so everything happens for a reason so right now you could be looking at something like man why did they have to go this way and it, it had to god's timing is perfect the 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 way, the rhyme, and the reason behind everything, it'll make sense to you at some point. But the biggest message here is serendipity. Right now, you're probably just in between worlds. But it's like, truth be told, whatever has happened, it was fated to happen exactly the way that it happened. So that now you can, you have a new life where you can actually go the distance. So for some of you, it's like, it is very um, unfortunate you know, that a particular relationship didn't work. I'm really picking up relationships. So for some of you, karmic relationships are closing. Um, if there was anything still lingering with a karmic relationship, it's like it's over, it's done. Like I said, the, the scales are being completely reset. It's like, okay, you know, you gave that person their last box of clothes. You know, some people have, you finally, you sign those divorce papers, you know, custody arrangements are in place. This is your new life and you have to accept it as what it is. Or if you left that job, it's like, okay, that job is over. Their relationship is over. Their friendship is over. You don't have any choice now but to move forward and accept this for what it is because you cannot remain in between worlds. You're either going to go backwards or you're going to go forward. You're going to be in the dark or you're going to be in the light. There is no in between. If you're in between, then you're not moving. So it's like truth be told right now, you have to look within and like I said, accept that something here was absolutely faded. You have a new life that's coming. So it's like now too, you have here time for a nap and all that glitters. Again, this, this has to do with your mindset, how you think about situations, how you, and I've been talking about this um, a lot on the channel for the last week or two, how you actually perceive success, love, happiness, joy peace and value in your life is very important right now and for a lot of you it is shifting and it's changing because what you have perhaps been aiming for um you're constantly feeling a sense of failure because there is no fulfillment in what you're going after 
because you've been conditioned to go for something first. For a lot of you, it's like God is about to blow your mind because what you are about to find very fulfilling in your life is going to be something that's different. It's something you've never experienced. Some of you, like the person that's going to be the love of your life, they're different from anybody that you've ever been with. Or the job that's going to bring you the most financial security and joy and peace and, you know, the best work-life value. It's going to be something that you've never even thought about doing before. But you have to have the strength, the faith, and the courage to go ahead and take this leap of faith. It's time for you to now do something that, like I said, it's going to allow you to go the distance. This is not something that's just blow by night. You know, your, your, those temporary relationships and situations and jobs in your life, that's finally coming to an end. You have something really solid coming in for you. So this energy that you're picking up on right now of feeling like, oh my goodness, you know, what's happening? Look, it's just a why. Asking why. Why? Because <laughs> it's time for you to receive something better. So there's a change in the wind happening. And Spirit said, just be be more flexible because you are going towards your milk and honey. This chopped wood is right now. It's like, just get your affairs in order right now. You may feel like life, like I said, like it's really boring right now. And a lot of you, honestly, I think that the reason why you feel discontent and bored is because honestly, there's no chaos. You're looking and wondering where, where's the conflict? Where's the chaos? It's not there. It's time for you to come out and, and understand that like the treasure island is there. You don't have to problem solve. This this also could even be people who are uh oh um empty nesters. Or I i I just feel like grief and mourning from endings, but these are good endings. I, I'm getting like divorces, you know, kids moving away, um some people have adult children or even parents that are like moving to a new state, you know, long term jobs coming to an end, people retiring. There's a lot of really major life changes that's happening for people. And if you think about um, a few weeks ago, I can't remember which moon it was, but um, like 30 years of karma is being balanced out. And in a matter of about a week, we do have a, um, an eclipse. So we're in eclipse season. So you may really feel like, whoa, <laughs> something in your life right now is being cut out. I'm really getting a lot with relationships, divorces, just all kinds of stuff. These are major endings that are bringing like changes in your life that is going to affect you for the next 10, 20, 30 plus years. Let me see. This is a um a lifestyle butterfly lifestyle deck. I think I have. I never use this deck on the channel. Lifestyle changes, heavenly signs. Some of you could be mourning or missing having a lot of memories of like a past on loved one. The reason why also is for some of you, you know, there are even elders in your family perhaps, and they are transitioning. There's a lot of um, new energy coming in. I just heard new blood. Um, so th th I just heard companies are d being dissolved. Like people are closing the doors, you know, um, it, there's some grief work here. OK, people are really like having memories of what used to be or how it used to be or remembering the good old times. But it's like you're stronger than what you know. OK, keep the faith. Keep pushing, because, again, something very beautiful is coming. But in order for this new beginning to come, something here, it has to. It has to go. It has to phase out. It has to fade out. Some of some people here, if it's like, you know, there's been perhaps um, someone in your family to transition, you know, condolences to you. But for some of you, it's like you have people in the family, they're transitioning and there's going to be these new babies to come about, you know, or in companies, there are 
managers and owners, they're stepping down or they're retiring. It's new blood. It's new energy that's coming in. This energy, it should be welcomed. Self-care. Yeah. Make sure you're taking care of yourself right now. Because I can sense like that energetically there's there's a, a heavy load being placed on a lot of people right now. But like the card says, you're stronger than what you know. Your health care, you may want to detox here, start exercising more. Some of you definitely, you're being prepared to do something with like your your hands, your body, sobriety. Wow. So some of you, if you've been mourning something here, um, sobriety is not just about like alcohol or drugs. It's like you're needing to just detox from something. Okay. Um, sober up. You could be love sick. <laughs> okay. Um it's time to sober up. It's time to change. But if there is something that you've been overindulging in, food, alcohol, sex, whatever, spirit is saying now that you need to probably address what is really underneath all of this overindulgence. And for a lot of you, the truth is, is that you're overindulging possibly because of um, you're grieving or mourning the end of a person a situation or a job. This is this is coming from a place of fear. Take the next step now. Yeah, family changes, leaving and adult children. So like I was saying earlier in the reading, but be true to you. Some of you, this could be you that's doing this or for some of you, you even have adult parents and as they see you grow up, okay, um, some of you are choosing to take jobs in different cities, states, countries or you're starting your own family. You have elders around you who are starting to sense that, wow, you know, you may not be coming around. Or some of you are looking at your parents and you're realizing, wow, that person, you know, they're aging. You know, grandparents, great grandparents. The, the reality is that as these karmic scales are balanced, that some people, they're leaving. Okay. They're going different places. They're migrating to different places. And some people are transitioning out. But this is a time where, again, you have to be very true to yourself. Okay. Friendships and relationships that are leaving your life. It's time for you to be true to who you are. And this is going to require courage. Dietary changes here and welcome the new. Parental care decisions. There's a lot going on with people's parents okay and you know this isn't to scare anybody because i don't feel like like everybody's parents is necessarily in bad health i just feel that what this message is saying on a spiritual level is that you are reparenting yourself there is a need to begin truly reparenting yourself how you lived how you saw your parents or, or people in your family live how the people your friends live that that's not what god has for you as i said that's not your portion it's something here for you that's very different, but you're going to have to have the faith and the courage to take a leap of faith. And you have to be very true to yourself. You know, you could be choosing to change your diet, how you dress, changing your religion. You may be wanting to be more spiritual now and not as religious, or maybe you are spiritual and you're wanting to be more religious or, you know, there's different things here. Maybe your, 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 um, your taste in the people that you date. It's just changing. Your diet might be changing. And whatever these changes are, it's going to really set you apart from everyone in your life that you are very much comfortable with and accustomed to being around. So I'm getting for some of you, you may be deciding now that you want to be vegetarian or vegan where your family could be a lot of meat eaters. So you can only imagine how, yeah, during the holidays, if you are choosing to be vegan and your family, they don't eat that way. Yeah, you're going to be seen perhaps as the oddball but you have to be true to yourself some of you you are not allowing yourself to embrace all the beautiful things that life has for you because you're still being held back by the fear of you doing it alone or how other people are going to see you if you choose to make these changes and it's like now for you to have your biggest breakthrough your biggest blessing in life you have no choice. And again, it's for some of you, this means that you have to stop doing things the way that your parents taught you to do them. You may have to not deal with your friends or your family as much, but this is all a part of you reparenting yourself. This card is a part of a different deck. Um, whenever that happens, it always tells me that there's a message. So we have here overflow. 
overwhelm and plenty and there's a lot of green here is you're about to have an overflow of blessings it, it's to the point where it may feel overwhelming but first but first you have to allow something to phase completely out it could even just like i said be a mindset your way of thinking about a particular person place thing or situation you have to change that completely um so an example here is even like for some people gender roles you know you may be choosing your household may not look anything like the household of some of your friends or your family and you you're, you're going to have to be okay with that you know what 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 mom and dad or, or grandpa or grandma what they did that's not how your life is some people here, it's like maybe you've always lived in the suburbs, but if you want to go and get, you know, a, a studio apartment in the heart of New York, then you should go. What it, It's just time for a lot of people to step into their purpose and their calling. You should do what you want to do, no matter how different it looks from what other people are doing, because this journey was made just for you. It's like whenever you go on a new journey, there's a lot of things that you don't know. It's something on this new journey that you're meant to learn. You're meant to experience it. That's the reason why you're being forced out of your comfort zone. Strength is here. It says strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. So this is your spiritual message. You're strong enough to do whatever this is that you want to do. Your spirit team, they're helping you. They're guiding you. They're constantly letting you know, like, it's okay. Yeah, seek. Seek and find. It says the, the power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy. And every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. That's what I was saying even at the beginning of the reading. Lately, I've been paying so much attention to things in nature and just seeing like how Mother Earth really just communicates with us constantly. But you have to slow down enough to take in the messages that you are receiving. They are custom to just you. Everybody has a way of receiving their cryptic messages from, from spirit. You have her mem memories while, look, I just said synchronicity. Memories, it says, your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. Didn't I say that earlier? There's a lot here about um, grieving and mourning and possibly, you know, people transitioning. But some people right now, you are becoming... Um, more aware of things on your spiritual journey so for some of you you're starting to think more about maybe past on loved ones perhaps because they're actually trying to connect with you they're trying to let you know that we're here to help you be stronger we're here on this journey with you as you are seeking and finding your higher self you know there's no no distance, no time or anything that can actually separate you from the love that you share with certain people in your life so Again, you know, I, I know it's difficult, but if you've been um, grieving or mourning, especially like over, you know, the transitioning of a loved one, whether it was recent or in the past, it's because they are trying to communicate with you. And then we have synchronicity. It says, are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. And I say this all the time. Every person that you meet in your life, friends, family member and lovers, they are a tool in your ascension. They are all going to hold up some type of mirror to your soul to assist you on your journey. Every person is not in your life for a lifetime. Some of them, they are placed there for a reason and for a season. And once you can start to acknowledge that you won't take endings and new beginnings so hard.
Every person that you meet, you're meeting them for a reason. Even the people that come into your life and they cause the chaos and the conflict. Like we've been saying in the readings lately, there's people that are coming towards you and yeah, they do carry that Jezebel spirit. Yes, they do call like carry that Judas-like spirit, but this is to test your discernment. You have to face these type of demons in order for you to get to your treasure island, to your paradise. Because once you get to where you're going... If you are lacking awareness, if you lack discipline, if you can't be committed, if you cannot be 10 toes down, then you will lose the things that God is finally blessing you with. Let's get one more spirit message. Self-love. Wow. Wow. And see, that goes back to the cards, either even with like the diet change, the healthcare changes. This all a part of your self-love and your healing journey. A lot of people out here, they're not um, cutting their hair, coloring their hair, dieting, exercising because they don't like the way they look. Self-love and healing journeys, it teaches you a lot about you just being committed to yourself. So for some of you, you may be wanting to, you know, finally embrace some type of self-love healing journey where, you know, you are. I just heard you're just being more steadfast, more committed to yourself. It says now is the time to love, nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from the actions that you take to support your body, mind and soul. I really just saw a whole glimpse of somebody like in an empty apartment. And um, <laughs> this is very specific. Whether you have money or you don't have a lot of money, some of you are about to go into a journey where you will be alone. But the type of peace is the peace that, you know, you can't buy. Um, you may start your journey in, in an apartment or a house somewhere. And you may not have anything but a pillow and a blow up mattress. But it's like the peace that you're going to have from knowing that you you started a journey. This is the part. It's something about a new journey here. I don't know. A lot of people may be moving, traveling, some people because of um, endings of relationships or people transitioning in the family is going to force you to move in a different direction. And over time, you're going to love yourself so much as you see how far you've come. Sometimes like God will put you in a storm so that you can see how strong you are. Or for some of you, you need to just practice more appreciation and gratitude and sit back and see how far you've already come. Maybe that season in your life of the storm has already happened. But have you taken time out to really appreciate yourself for being able to get through the chaos, the conflict of that storm? Because now you get to enjoy peace, but you will find yourself enjoying more peace when you realize that you really need to appreciate yourself for being able to get out of the hell hole that you just climbed out of. The stars are aligning for you while wow, wishing on a star. It is time for you to dream again. Go ahead, make a wish. It is. It just might come true. Okay, a bunch of cards just fell out. I'm not going to take all those. There's too many. But soul contracts is here. And share your gifts and inner guidance. Okay, I will take them. Shining star. And we have Boone here. <laughs> So it's five part. It says heaven is rushing in and showering you with blessings. Open your heart to receive. And so a lot of you too, like I said, if you find yourself still mourning over the ending of a, of a situation, especially like with the relationships and thing or, or um, friendships, whether, you know, any type of relationship, whether it's with family, friends, lovers or whatever, this heavy heart energy, you're going to have to really, really heal and, and let go to nurture yourself because you have your shining star it's time for you to take front and center stage and then you have inner guidance it is time for you to pay attention and listen to the guidance of your soul share your gifts so for some of you you have a soul contract like it's a part of your mission 
for you to share your testimony. So understand like those test trials and tribulations, it was so that you would eventually be able to share your gifts. And sharing your gifts doesn't mean that you have to have a huge platform or you have to be an influencer. Some of you sharing your gifts is you sharing your gifts with a partner, sharing your gifts with your children, sharing your gifts with a friend, just being able to go out in the world and be a person who really has a lot of gratitude, a lot of faith, um, courage, being very authentic and having that level of self-love and also just self-awareness. That in itself is a gift. And when you carry that about you, everyone will notice it. They will recognize it easily. You have to believe in your own magic. That's the deck that this is. Look, spaceship, it says, don't be afraid to sing and take yourself on a date. So a lot of you, you're going on a new journey. It's a self-love healing journey. A lot of you are about to um, either become single or you are separating yourself, like I said, from friends, family members, groups, different businesses, um, jobs, but don't be afraid to take yourself on a date. Don't be afraid to dress how you want to dress, say what you want to say, do what you want to do. Okay. You don't have something. It's, it's a lot of divorce energy here. I'm going to be honest. A lot of breakup, divorce type of energy. Like some of you, you're like, oh my goodness, what do I do now? You, you get to live as yourself. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. Some people, or it's like even going off to college or starting a new job. It's like, okay, where do I start now? So the beauty in the energy that I'm picking up on now is although I see all of these endings, the beauty is you have a clean slate here. This, this confusion that you're feeling is just because you're starting something new, but it's beautiful. It's, it's really a good thing. I would really um, encourage and challenge some of you guys when you see this rating to make it a point in the next few days to just do something for yourself, whether it's changing something in your diet, waking up a little bit earlier, going to bed a little bit earlier, doing something though that allows you to really embrace this. It, there's a softer energy that's pouring, that's about to come into your life. Look, potion, remember to practice self-love. I can't make it up. And then here, flower, be honest with yourself. Be honest. Be truthful and authentic. Take control of your own narrative. And voyage, you have all the answers here. You're going on your own voyage. You're like the pioneer. You're starting something brand new. And it's something here about a self-love journey. For some of you, you may be interested in doing like influencer work. Um, because this entire reading, it has a lot to do with you uh, being very open, honest with yourself and authentic. So for some of you, you know, if you want to be into, you know, influence a work or if you want to work in the community, volunteering or whatever, take the step to do it. Because it looks like sharing your journey or you just, um, it's something here for some of you about, um, how do I say this? Um, documenting your journey. So I'm seeing like before and after. So some of you, it could be a weight loss journey. Um, some of you could be considering like weight loss surgery. Some of you could be doing something with your hair, a hair journey, you know, cutting all of your hair, growing your hair. Um, it, there's major changes coming. Like, like I said, these are the types of changes that when somebody sees you in a year or in 10, 20 years, you're going to be able to say, when I did this, when I started this, my entire world changed. Some of you is going back to school or it's, you know, finally graduating. It's something big that you're doing now, but I promise it's going to affect the rest of your life. So you may want to take some time to kind of go in Herman mode to see Okay, what 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 exactly is your your soul, your spirit calling you to do right now? Because it's ma it's major. It's like you finally get to live without having all of the burdens. I don't know why people it seems like the collective is really in reflecting mode right now. Some people who have been caretakers for friends or family um I am seeing where people have or will transition. It's that energy of like, okay, what do I do now? You know, you, 
it has been a part of your routine to take care of that person or for some to take care of that child or to take care of their um that parent or that lover for so long and it's like okay what do you do now you know now it's like okay you you maybe you're moving or you know maybe it maybe you're about to start dating it's just something here is this is a really big energy um uh, i'm i'm getting so many different possible scenarios it's not going to resonate with anyone with everyone but for some of you you know what it you know that it's just time for a major change in your life like I said, these are changes to relationship status, career, finances. It's major. This is the rest of your life. This is for sure. When you think about 30 plus years of karma being cleared out, it's like, okay, now you need to start thinking, what are the next 30 years going to look like? Because like God is asking, what do you want? I can give you what you want, but you need to be very clear about what you want. And for some of you now, you're realizing in order to get what you want, there's things in your life now that you have to say goodbye to that you never, ever wanted to say goodbye to. Relocating, you know, blocking communication with certain people. It's like you really have to put <laughs> your, your, your boots on, you know, because you're going on this new journey that requires your undivided attention and a lot of just blind faith. But it's going to be worth it. It will be worth it. So, I don't know. This seems more of like an encouraging message today. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't even really know what to say about this message to me. The energy today, it's real slow, real steady, real smooth. Um, you know that there's things going on in the background, but it's sort of like there's a shield around the collective there's a shield where you know what's going on but it's like you know what i'm saying um <laughs> you know how if, if you've ever been to a zoo and it's it's almost like you can see like a, a lion just roaring you know and it looks like they're running up to the window like they want to attack you. And they're just roaring and doing all this. But you, 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 maybe, you may be able to hear them a little bit. But it's like the glass is so thick. And, and it, the, the sound is so faint. Like you can't even see. You, you know it's going on. But you can see it going on. Your spiritual eyes can show you that things are going on. But you know that there's absolutely no way this can get to you. That's, that's the energy that I'm getting. Like, you made it. No matter what these people are doing in this jungle, you're in a bubble. They can't get to you, no matter what. So, like I said, try to see the good in this situation. <laughs> Some of you, the, the truth is, You've loved people so hard and for so long. Spirit is now blocking them from your life and your path. And you never would have blocked them completely, not energetically. Anyway, they're being blocked from you energetically. Some of you, you're really about to start tapping more into your own energy. And you're going to notice that, wow, that, that energy is not there anymore. And there is definitely something here, too, about people transitioning. For some of you, either you're about to start connecting more with people who have transitioned or for some of you. And, and I, I don't want to even get into this because I will have to turn on a whole different channel. There's an energy that has been around you. Well, no, spirit. Okay, some of you, there has been an energy around you that's being eclipsed out, and it's an energy of a person that's not physically here. But it wasn't necessarily a good energy for you. It's being clipped, like eclipsed out, or you you could have been in some kind of soul contract with somebody. You know, we talked about like spiritual spouses, like someone who has been trying to hold you back from your new beginning. 
that that energy or that entity that has been trying to hold on to you, it is um, it's being eclipsed out. So again, it's a clean slate. You get love, you get a huge breakthrough in your finances. It's because everything that's been feeding off of your energy and blocking you is being removed. And it, it's coming so fast for some of you that it may be hard for your human mind to comprehend, to comprehend how fast these things are about to start happening for you. I mean, like I said, the energy to me, if I hate to say it, it's, it feels weird. It feels weird because there are so many unknowns. But that's the best place to be because that means you get to create exactly what you want. 